In this part, we are going to set up our Google Sheet before hopping into Glide. So open a uh, blank Google Sheet and name it the title of your app. The first column is going to be attendee. We'll do a title, photo, and checked in. And we'll go ahead and enter in some dummy data. We'll leave photo blank because we will drag and drop photos um, within Glide. And we'll leave checked in blank because this, this is going to be false unless they are checked in. And let's name our sheet attendance. In the next part, we'll set up our Glide app. Once you are in Glide, click new app and let's pick the sheet that we just created in Google Sheets. And from here, let's uh, shape up our layout page by adding some photos. So um, link the image data field to photo and then grab some photos and drag and drop. Now I'll click into your uh, first, actually let's change this so we have the title is going to be the name and then the details is going to be title. There we go. Now click into one of uh, the attendees and let's uh, put a, let's get rid of this photo URL by deleting this basic text photo property or uh, component. And then let's add a image and let's drag this up here. And I'm just going to switch this around. So I want this to be attendee and then title. And then this checked in thing, um, we're going to delete this component and then add a switch called checked in which will link to our checked in uh, data column. And from here, you can either leave it like this or you can go to tabs and you can add um, a chat component if you would like. And this is how you would get a, another tab to show up here. Otherwise, if you just have one tab, um, you have just uh, that, that screen, you don't have navigation down here. So now, when this user checks in, it will show up on your Google Sheet as true and with a check mark. Once this is set up, you can go to settings. You can upload a new image, name your app, set your privacy to public with email or password. And once you are done, you can click share app and publish it. And then set your URL to something more unique, and then you can start tracking attendance with this Glide app. So super simple. If you have any questions, reach out on Twitter at Amy Delisa or within the MakerPad community. Mm -hmm.